Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum from New Orleans, Louisiana. And I know the topic of burnout has received a lot of attention in the past couple of years. I would like to share with you in the next seven minutes what I think is some of the science behind burnout. This presentation will cover the incidence and prevalence of burnout and the relationship between stress and the length of our telomeres. I am sure you are familiar with all the signs of physician burnout. And I'd certainly want to include one additional one that uh, is pertinent to our urologic practice, and that is those who have men who have burnout also have an increased incidence of erectile dysfunction. So 52% of all physicians, including urologists, experience one or more element of burnout. As a matter of fact, 77% of those who are interviewed often or always have feelings of burnout. And the rate of burnout is even higher for urology residents and fellows and those in their first year or two in practice. So let's look at the science behind burnout, which focuses on the telomeres. These are the caps on the ends of the chromosomes. I'm an amateur magician and I compare the telomeres to the white caps on the end of a magician's magic wand, or it can be uh, another uh, example of what telomeres are. Those are the plastic aglets or the plastic caps that are on the ends of our shoelaces. Now, the purpose of telomeres, it prevents the ends of the chromosomes from fraying. Long telomeres promote natural or normal of cell division. However, short telomeres, which occur with aging and also occur as a result of stress, leads to burnout. And there is fusion of the chromosomes when there are short telomeres, resulting in DNA breakage and cellular dysfunction and even cellular death. DNA is responsible for normal cellular replication. And with each replication, normally the telomeres become shorter. With short telomeres, that leads to cellular death or senescence and aging of cells. And with the aging of cells, it leads to apoptosis or the cells actually break apart. Now, telomeres are related to burnout because over time, the telomeres become shorter. With short telomeres, so do our emotional fuses. We become cranky, cantankerous, and even crabby. So what are some tips on telomeres? Chronic stress shortens our telomeres. With short telomeres, there is a concomitant decrease immune function, also leads to inflammation and increase in cytokines, and as a result, increase in infection. And with inflammation, there are increase in degenerative diseases, such as arthritis, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, and possibly Alzheimer's disease. With chronic stress, there is an increase in cortisol level. And we also know that for a long time, cortisol suppresses the immune system. And with increase in cortisol and as a result of stress, it leads to shortening of the telomeres. There's also a relationship between diabetes and insulin resistance and also with short telomeres. 
Also, it is known that large quantities of alcohol shortens telomeres. There also is a relationship between sleep, insomnia, and telomeres. Insomnia and sleep deprivation leads to shortening of telomeres. If we look at this slide and we see on the vertical axis the length of telomeres, those who are over the age of 70 and who experience insomnia have short telomeres. I also believe there is a relationship between our sense of humor and telomeres. I haven't seen any studies on this, but my opinion is that a sense of humor and fun leads to lengthening and prevention of shortening of telomeres. So you may want to find out if you're suffering from burnout and there is a free burnout self-assessment tool available from Mind Tools that also includes these four free books that you can take anonymously over the internet and you can do a self-assessment tool by asking just a few questions and you answer from none to frequently and often. And there's uh, only a few questions. The uh, questionnaire uh, or survey can be done very, very briefly and it will score your uh, burnout assessment from no sign of burnout to you are at a high risk of burnout, which is like 911 and you need to do something about it uh, immediately. Much of the reading that I did for this presentation comes from a book called The Telomere Effect by Elizabeth Blackburn from the University of California at San Francisco. And she is a Nobel Prize winner on her studies on telomeres. So in summary, as urologists, we are under chronic stress. And chronic stress leads to shortening of our telomeres. So short telomeres lead to premature aging, chronic diseases such as hypertension, diabetes, arthritis, cancer, and possibly Alzheimer's disease. So my take home message is, I wish you anything that you can do to decrease your stress, decrease your risk of burnout, and that you have long telomeres. Thank you.